Ooh, a girl. Nani na na na, top girl from Atlanta. Nani na na na, nani you a star girl. You will have it all, booking flights around the world. Na na na, na na na, oh. Nani you a star girl. You will have it all. Go ahead and show it off. Na na na, nani nani na na na. Hello, beaches. I just came back from Sephora and I went and got the Makeup by Mario foundation. I've literally been seeing it all over my freaking TikTok. And I want to do a try on video for you guys and review on how I like the foundation. I'm about to do it at my vanity. I have my vanity. I don't know if I ever showed you guys my vanity, but. So I figured it'd be cute to do a like try the foundation video or whatever, trying it out for the first time. So I went to Sephora a little bit earlier today and I went to go buy the foundation. I went ahead and just swatched to try on the foundation while I was in there. I did end up uh, going with the color that I feel like is my color. I feel like I definitely am gonna end up needing something for the summertime. When I was trying my color, I did end up going with 16C. This color was actually exactly my skin tone right now which even though this is my color i did find it a little concerning because i was like oh my god like summer's coming up i'm gonna end up getting browner but i think i'm just gonna warm it up with a bronzer and that's normally what i do with my foundation i do tend to go a shade darker in my fenty because i've been using the fenty actually i don't even think i have it in here with me i think it's in the other room but this is literally like the perfect shade for me like it literally is an exact shade match for my color right now but when i went up a color which was the 17 in was the next color up it was too dark so i don't know that i'm gonna get that dark in the summer because i really do protect my skin from the sun and everything i do plan on getting a little bit of a tan but i don't think i'll ever be to the shade that it was so i think i'm just gonna warm up with bronzer as summer goes on but yeah i ended up getting the 16c and the foundation is a surreal skin foundation something when i was trying it on in the store i was like oh my god this has a really nice sheen to it as somebody who has kind of like an oily t-zone but normal skin everywhere else I was like mm, will this end up looking oily but I actually wore it on my cheek and did it not like how it was I did wipe it off uh, before this video but okay so on the back it says surreal skin foundation is my complexion masterpiece I put my heart into this groundbreaking formula with the hope of not creating a barrier of foundation but rather awakening the true infinite beauty that lives within <laughs> obviously mario is an amazing makeup artist so i don't expect anything but the best um out of this foundation so i'm excited um the other thing that i did buy i didn't buy it in there but i did go and get this elf putty blush because i've been looking for a freaking cream blush and i found this at freaking cvs and this is in turks and caicos and then I found um, the Elf Finishing HD Powder, which I already have a setting powder, but somebody said that they really liked that as like a finishing powder after the setting powder. So I did get that as well. Guys, the packaging, can we talk about it? Cause this is super cute. I don't know why I really like the fact that you can see the bottle between the little cracks. Packaging. Here we go. So this is the packaging. I think it's super sleek and cute. I feel like it would look a little bit better if it had a black top, but maybe I'm tripping. I don't know, but I do like it. I just worry that this is gonna get like dirty, but I do love, if you guys can see, it has like a glitter inside of it, which is so exciting. I don't know, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Uh, let me make sure my lighting is all the way up. I was dimming it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm gonna grab my setting powder, wet my sponge, and then we'll try the foundation. I'm excited. And if you guys are my same skin tone, I wanna give you guys perspective on the other colors of things I might use, just in case you are trying to color match yourself without going into store. But I do use the Fenty Beauty. This is the like liquid ease drop. And I use the uh, color 14. So this is what I use on like an everyday basis. And then I also have been using the um, Morphe. This is the Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. It's 30 SPF. This is in Glow Rich 10. So I use the Glow Rich 10 in this. So to give you guys perspective of my color, they're all pretty similar. 
Alright guys, so I did zoom in a little bit so you can see the skin a little bit better when I apply the foundation. But I do feel like the perfect the base for a skincare routine is having nice, smooth, hydrated skin. So obviously I have already done my skincare routine. You can see I'm glistening, I'm shining. This is literally not grease, like when I wipe, it's not grease, it's not going away. This is my skin. Um, so I obviously use Korean skincare. I have posted my Korean skincare routine haul type thing. That is the same um, skincare routine I have been using for a while so i did that this morning um honestly just like a couple hours ago so i'm not gonna reapply anything but then the other thing is just having a very hydrated base obviously my skin is extremely hydrated even though i do have an oily t-zone i have learned to not avoid moisture because it was starting to get a little crusty and dusty and that was just not cute so i've learned that i need to actually use good product <laughs> on top of like everything else so i am going to be applying the glossier i think this is future do future do oil serum and you put this all over your face and it kind of gives you a glow underneath it gives me a super like hydrated base and it kind of gives you like that like glow highlight i'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm on too just because y'all are up close and personal and i don't need my lips you know dry i just use the aquaphor but i got the big one anyway let's get into the foundation so obviously i put the oil serum on and i'm going to go ahead and apply yeah that's a lot of foundation i actually put a lot on i'm not going to use all that but and this is the other thing i was talking about about like having a white top i just feel like it's like icky like i want it to stay cute let me grab a rag all right so i'm gonna get a little bit closer for you guys and i'm just gonna apply it on this side as you guys can see like the color is just like it's like a little light but the other one was too dark like when i'm looking at it down here it actually looks better but in the camera it kind of looks light it looks light i mean every foundation has like some natural oxidation I'm let it oxidize a little and hopefully because that's how the fenty is for me when i apply the fenty regular foundation on it's always so freaking orange and then i'll let it set in my skin for a second it's actually pretty nice i do love the way that it looks though because when i'm looking at my skin y'all i'm like it looks like my skin okay i feel like it's oxidizing a little maybe i'm like am i tripping also it's perspective because i was just thinking about the lighting i'm in an extremely bright light i still feel like this is the better color hold on let me show you all in the other lighting okay this is in like warm lighting this is in like white light and this is in like normal light maybe i should bring it down a little is this color too light comment in the bottom if you feel like the color is too light or maybe it's like oxidizing to my right color but i still don't think i would go darker because i really like the way it looks <gasps> y'all Ooh, I think it's a combination of the, uh, what is this called? Future Dew, the oil serum, and the foundation. But this foundation is like, it's like skin, y'all. This is with nothing else. It literally looks like I have no makeup. <laughs> it looks like I have no makeup on, I'm not gonna lie. It's just so nice. See, like I reapply. It definitely like went into my skin and got a little bit warmer. So I'm happy. I am happy with the shade. I really like it. I'm actually kind of shocked at how much I like it. I just feel like it looks like so much like my skin and it looks so healthy. And okay, so I did put the oil serum on, but this does have like a natural radiance to it. And I think it is those like glitter or small like glisteny pieces inside the foundation. I think it's like the light reflecting off of it. Ooh, girl look at that foundation bro like that's the thing that he said what did he say with the hope of not creating a barrier of foundation but awakening the true infinite beauty this is true infinite beauty. okay it just looks like i'm really close to you guys it doesn't look like foundation and then i got a new concealer I freaking got a new nars concealer i'm gonna do my full everything really quick to make sure I like it, but I really think I like the way it looks. It's like really nice. My concealer looked darker than my freaking <laughs> foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and bronzing and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys. 
All right, guys, so I finished the rest of my makeup and I am loving this foundation. Obviously, once I applied everything else, it is a little bit more mattified. You can still see the glow underneath in the lighting, but it's definitely a lot more matte with adding everything. I'm not sure if I would actually add powder. I actually really did like how it was before, but I wanted everything to stay. And I feel like if I didn't add like powder on the concealer, everything would just be gliding and sliding. I got oily skin, it's just not gonna work like that. But I actually really like it. I'm gonna get kind of close for you guys. Guys, it looks so good. Like it really does look so good. I am gonna give this foundation a 10 out of 10 only because I think that going forward in the summer, it'll be really, really pretty to have that like glistening look, but I don't think that I would mattify it all over. You absolutely can if you want to and look how it looks when it's completely mattified, but I really did like the glow that it gave. Makeup by Mario, what are you doing to me? Because I definitely was a Fenty girl. I was like, I'm not going outside of Fenty, period. I ended up going to the Morphe like glow tinted moisturizer or whatever because I found it in TJ Maxx. But I actually really liked it and it was in my shade. But I think this might be my regular foundation because it's just really, really pretty. And it's super natural, guys. I think it's the light, like I can see the glow underneath. It has a nice finish to it. I don't know, I have to see how it wears. Obviously, this is my first time trying it. I'm probably gonna try and wear it tomorrow since I'll be working. But I really, really like it. If you guys are wondering, by the way, on the lip, I just did my brows. I use um, Better than sex mascara, the Too Faced one. Um, if y'all are wondering, I use that. I use my Shiseido lash curler brows. I filled in cause I was lazy. I filled in with a dark brown. This is my Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette. And then I also did around my lips with the same color. I used Espresso and Sable and did around my lips cause I couldn't find my lip liner. I actually ended up using the Too Faced lip injection hence the big plump and then i used the fenty plumping lip gloss too this one is in um fussy but yeah i actually really really love the foundation guys i think i'm just so intrigued by it because i'm such a fenty girl and it looks like skin obviously i've added powder so it's not as like skin skin as it was before it definitely looks like i have makeup on now but i am a fan like i just think it looks really really good and natural makeup by mario did his thing on this i'm gonna give it a Ooh, it's just so hard because I'm like, I don't want to compare it to Fenty, but like, I really, really love Fenty. But honestly, he did his thing on it. Babe, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 because I just feel like it's gonna wear really well, especially in the summer, being able to have like a nice glow and like healthy look to your skin. I'm actually really, really excited to see how it does in the summer with the heat, but I really, really, really like the way it looks. Period. I think it's the light and it's not, I promise y'all it's not my lighting. Like it really does look this good. I'm gonna go a little bit low light so you guys can see. It's like terrible bathroom lighting and it still looks freaking good. I'm a fan. I think I, I mean, I literally love it. It definitely is my favorite right now. I'm just shocked that like, I like something other than Fenty cause I literally have been like a Fenty girl. Yeah, this one is definitely gonna be my new foundation. But anyways, guys, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I really, really like it. I'm just more shocked that I'm like, I really am going to move away from Fenty. That is just crazy to me because I'm like, I like the feeling and look of it more than I like the Fenty. This one I still feel like will be like my everyday just because it's more like a tinted moisturizer, even though this is like a foundation. I'm happy with it. I'm actually excited from a purchase. Do I feel like it was worth $44 after tax? I do. I think it was $42 but 44 after tax and I absolutely feel like it was worth it. I think we're gonna stick with this foundation. I'm gonna play with it for sure within the next coming weeks. And if y'all wanna ask me in the comments in a couple weeks, if I still like it, we'll see. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, but I do love it. If you guys haven't tried this foundation, try it out. Obviously we ain't got no sponsors. You know it was a real opinion. Uh, <laughs> I wish we could get a sponsor. We working on it, we working on it. But yeah, so if you haven't tried it out, try it. Everybody on TikTok seems to freaking love it. And I was hesitant because I was like, I don't want to give my opinion and feel like I was pressured into it because TikTok loved it. But I actually really do love it. Hey beaches, this is Nani from the future. So I was not planning on doing any sort of outro, um, but I haven't 
even uploaded the previous video of the makeup to my computer yet. So I was like, I might as well show you guys what my foundation looks like. I wore that foundation all day. So I wore it at 12. It is currently, I think almost eight o'clock. I started my, it's like 8.30. So eight hours in this makeup, guys. I just did Orange Theory. Look at my foundation. Like my foundation is still intact. Like there is some like smile lines, but I fully did a full workout in this. <laughs> like sweating, dripping sweat. I'll put a little video here. This is me in Orange Theory. Like I have not touched up. I literally just came in the house. Still in my workout clothes, I need a shower. <laughs> um, so this foundation is a win because yes, I definitely look sweaty and gross, but this foundation is bomb, like for real, for real. I was, I was, you know, like, mm, I don't wanna hype it up too much. I'm hyping it up that much. Cause it's like, y'all. I literally was just in the bathroom and I was like, I did my workout. I'm about to come wash my face. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, my skin look good. Like still, like I still look great. Like I look like I sweated a little bit, but this is not bad for eight hours of wear. I just came to tell y'all that. I'm going to bed. Small world with big dreams, bad girl with big things. Nani, you the drip queen. Elevate your big deal. Nani, na, na, na. Top girl from Atlanta. Nani, na, na, na.